Albert, how do we tell which one of these is PNP and which one is NPN? Look at all these transistors. I don't know what they are. We could look them up in a data sheet. Here, can you tell? Which is this? PNP or NPN? Don't know? Me neither. Hi, welcome to hack number 23. Uh, you know, today I was thinking it would be really nifty to be able to just quickly tell if transistors that I have in this little pile here are PNP or NPN. And I could look them up with a data sheet. I guess online get the number and go looking through some data sheet archives and whatnot. But uh, what you really need to figure this out quickly is a transistor tester. And so today's hack is just that: how to build a simple transistor tester. Well, this is a pretty simple one to build. There's three resistors, an LED, and a 10 microfarad capacitor. You'll note here there are two resistors and they're twisted together, connected in series. Those are two 10 ohm resistors that makes 20 ohms. As you'll see later in the schematic, it's spec'd out for 22 ohms. 20 ohms works okay, and that's all I had on hand. Okay, let's zoom in a little closer and I'll show you how this thing works. Okay, let's get real close here and take a look. Okay, extreme close up. Here we go. You can see there's the slot for the emitter, base, and collector on the NPN transistor. Emitter, base, and collector for the PNP. And there's the LED there. I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. Now let me, let's see, let's get a, let's get a PNP and stick it in this slot. And a known NPN. I'll put it over in this slot. And there you can see the LED is lit up. Okay. Uh, now if we take a NPN, pull it out, and um, I'm going to put in a PNP. And as you'll see, see the LED does not want to light up because there's two PNPs in there. Which means the one I just put in there is not an NPN. So if I grab one of these... Oh, look at that. That's an NPN. And actually, that's in oscillation right now, that particular one with this circuit. How about that? And I think this one's an NPN. And that one stays on. So there's a little variance between those two. Um, and now if I really wanted to get into the nitty gritty, I would go look up the uh, data sheet on that. At least now I've narrowed it down to whether or not it's an NPN or a PNP. So uh, it's a pretty handy thing to have around. Let's take a look at the schematic now. Here we go, simple circuit. Uh, three volt power supply on this end. There's a, a PNP there, NPN there. If they're the other way around, the polarity that's seen by this LED will be reversed and it won't light up. It's about that simple. 330K resistor, a 1K resistor, a 22 ohm resistor, uh, 10 microfarad capacitor polarized 3 volt power supply and there you go put it on a little board and you've got your own transistor tester well I've been having some fun with these transistor hacks I've been doing lately I'll probably do a few more I've got a bunch of transistors ordered they should be here uh, eh, within the next couple of weeks I've got some JFET transistors on the way and I still want to make a little single JFET preamp because they make a really nice sound when they clip with guitars and such so I'll be getting back into another little preamplifier circuit soon and get out the old uh, one string guitar that I built a few hacks ago and we'll demonstrate it with that so uh, have fun uh, making a little transistor tester if you decide to do so and until next time keep on hacking Okay, which ones of these are NPNs now? Let's see.